uh, it is a very important um, industry, very important job creator. And one of the things that was pointed out is just the inequity. And really what it is, is uh, it's a, uh, a determination by the Department of Revenue that we disagree with, that I disagree with. Um, the fact that there are already exclusions for sawmills for, um, and for agriculture, um, I, I certainly uh, tend to view the, um, the production of trees and timber as a crop that just has a bit of a longer gestation period. So uh, I think with uh, um, uh, the opportunity to move this forward, it will make a big difference to the very small operators that uh, uh, need to purchase equipment in the course of their operations in the same way that uh, um, the current exclusions in the tax code are good for our manufacturers, are good for our farmers. This would be very helpful. We did have a fiscal note on this last session, and the total fiscal note was $500,000 statewide, less than, less, you know, half a million dollars. So a uh, very small fiscal impact, but it would be a very big deal to the small operators uh, who create the jobs in our area and create a product uh, that is sold on a competitive market. So I would ask for the members' affirmative consideration of this bill. Thank you.